Here is today's workout. We are doing a 30 minute hit. We are doing the five bits of awesome format again. Uh, it almost killed me last time, but this is a 30 minute one and not a 40 minute one. So we'll do the five bits of awesome, which I'm gonna show you, demonstrate before we start, and then we'll, we'll do um, these three couplets. So we'll do the bits of awesome, couplet, bits of, bits of awesome, couplet down the line to make 30 minutes, okay? Here's your workout. Take a screenshot if you need it. And I'm gonna take you through the bits of awesome because the couplets, the couplets are all body weight. So you don't have to worry about um, equipment. I'm going to use, see all this equipment? <laughs> I'm going to use equipment in the bits of awesome. Um, and so I'm gonna show you what to do if you don't have it, okay? I'm gonna show you what each thing is and then I'm gonna show you what to do if you don't have it. Okay, uh, the first bits of uh, bit of awesome is um, up and over lunge backs, okay? So you're going to get a stool, a uh, BOSU ball, anything. If you don't have some sort of something to stand up to go up and over, do it from the floor, okay? I'm gonna show it to you with this and then I'll show it to you on the floor, okay? So you're down in a squat. You're gonna launch off of this, switch feet down, lunge back in your squat, up, squat, lunge back, okay? If you don't have this piece of equipment or a piece of equipment to do that on a BOSU ball, whatever, then you just do it from the floor. So you're down, jump over, down, lunge back, lunge, jump over. See, you just don't use it. Okay, um, espressos. I'm just using 10 pound dumbbells for espressos. If you don't have 10 pound dumbbells, then just do regular burpees, okay? Regular burpees instead. Um, sandbag squat and press. I'm going to use my 25 pound sandbag. I'm going to hold it here, squat down, press it up over my head. If you don't have that, I want you to do jump squats, okay? So you're down, jump, down, jump, okay? Uh, the last one are box jump burpees. So I'm going to jump up on this. Uh, it's kind of a mixture between a BOSU ball and a plyo box just a high thing to jump on, or high-ish thing to jump on. If you don't have it, I want you to do jump tuck burpees. So instead of jumping up on the box, just tuck like that. Okay? All right. We are ready. If you do have a boasted ball or a step 360, get it out. Um, oogie pikes. You can do regular pikes without the oogie ball. The oogie ball is just a weight. You can use a regular dumbbell. Um, sandbag, if you have it, mine's 25 pounds, you don't need it, and a set of 10 pound dumbbells. Okay, we're ready, finally. I'm gonna prep with a sip of water. Make sure you have some water on hand, and possibly a towel. During the, um, during the, uh, skipping, if you don't have a jump rope, uh, just do run in place high knees, okay? All right. Here we go. Starting in five seconds with our bits of awesome. Here we go. You're gonna squat down, lunge over, lunge back. Squat up, lunge back. Lunge back. Lunge back. bit of awesome to the regular up and over by doing the lunge back and it's warming up my legs <laughs> okay now we've got espressos I'm gonna move this over to the side 10 pound dumbbells or just do regular burpees you're gonna go down plant them on the ground jump back into plank do a tricep press up which means your elbows stuck into your ribs press up Row one, row the other one, jump it up. Bring it behind you, hammer curl, and push. Again, down, back, push. Row, row, jump it up. Back, curl, 
push, down, back, press, row, row, jump it up, bring it back, curl, press, okay, oogie ball pikes, if you don't have an oogie ball, you can use a dumbbell, if you don't have a dumbbell, just do regular pikes, Pike it up. Hips are off the ground, shoulder blades off the ground, and then bring it straight without touching the floor with your ball or your feet. Grab it with palms down. Here, flip it up onto your forearms. Sink it down, elbows to knees, so your weight is in your heels. Push into your heels and press it up over your head. Okay? Squat, press. Squat, press. I'll show you lateral. Squat, press. Squat, press. in the air. Awesome. 
Walk out push-ups. You're just walking out into plank, doing a full push-up, and walking back up. Okay? Here we go. Bring your hands down to the ground. Walk till you find your solid plank. Do a push-up. Walk it back. If you are at the level that you have to do push-ups from your knees to get all the way down, then once you hit your plank, just drop to your knees. Walk it out. Push up. Walk it back. This seemingly simple exercise is one of most of my in-person clients' least favorite things. They're always like, no, don't make me do that. Two seconds. Back to standing pendulums. Standing pendulums can be fun, guys. <laughs> Make sure you add your jump, that you're not just lifting one side and then standing and lifting the other. Make sure you get your jump in. And it's good to find a focal point and breathe for balance. Walk out push-ups. Oh, here we go. Bring it down. Walk it out. All the way down push-up. Walk it back and bring it up. or burpees. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> Down, jump it back.
Alex. <sighs> These were hard for me the first time because I have a uh, seam in my shirt that hurts when I go up on my back. or your knees are too far forward. Weight in the heels and your knees will tap your, your uh, elbows. 15 seconds. You could absolutely be doing this with dumbbells, right? Box jump burpees or jump tuck burpees, whichever you think. a giant gulp of water. Hilarious. Okay. One arm out in front of you, one up over your head. Roll back on your butt cheek and come it up to a V up. You're on your forearm of the down arm and then bring it down and reach up over your head. Okay, these two exercises Instead of rotating back and forth, because they're both right side and then left side, I'm gonna do either side of this exercise and then either side of the second exercise without switching back and forth. It just makes more sense to me. Okay, so we're going to the other side. 
Hand out in front. Roll back on your butt cheek. If you're right on your hip, you're never gonna be able to bend this high. Because bodies don't bend like that. <laughs> well, this one doesn't anyway. Don't be afraid to push into the forearm that you're bracing yourself with. That's perfectly okay. Okay, now we can pop right up into driving lunge back with kick. All right, we're gonna start standing on the right leg. You're going to go back like a curtsy. Tap your knee down if you have a soft enough surface. Push into the forward heel, bring yourself up and lift it lateral. Back into the curtsy, lift. Back into the curtsy, lift. If this angle hurts your knee, hurts your hip, then just lunge straight back and do the kick. Don't worry about the cross lunge if it hurts. I'm not about pain here, guys. Maybe muscle soreness, but not pain. What? My hip is burning. That butt cheek's on fire. Other side. Three, two, one. Sinking it down, lift. If you're wobbling all over the place, that's okay. It means that you're training your balance. Make sure that your foot is in this position. Your arch is pointed down, so you're not kicking like this, okay? Twenty seconds. This is the first time this whole challenge I've done this exercise because somebody. Ah, okay. Up and overs. Push this back up. Um, somebody accused me of putting that exercise in every workout. And I was like, what? I do not. <laughs> so I fell victim of the accusation and I started to take it out. One might say you shouldn't care so much what other people think, but I actually really care what my fitness buddies think because I'm doing this so that we can have fun, great workouts that get us in shape. And if something's bugging you, like too many dragon lunge backs with a kick, then I'll listen. today. That's awesome, right? Espressos or regular burpees. Here we go. Down. Jump it. Row. Row. Jump it up. Bring it behind you. Curl. Push. That was 
very graceful. Come on, Sarah, go. That bell, that bell rings, Sarah. Go, Sarah, go. Last time you have to do this. Back squat and press. Or grab the dumbbells or do squat jumps. Here we go. Ah. Five seconds. Eight seconds. Ah. And down. Ah. Yes, I stopped that set a little early. Oh no! I'm gonna get a sip of water too. Knee up, or knee, on the knees, push-ups with a twist. 
Okay, so you're doing a push up. And when you come up, you're gonna tap your leg and twist like this. Push up, tap your leg and twist. Push up, twist. Push up, twist. Push up, twist. Twist, push up. Twist, push up, twist, push up, twist. Okay, two more. Here we go, guys. Uh, head, feet overhead. Bring it straight up. Bring your hands down and slowly control your back. Slowly, slowly, legs slowly, slowly, right before you hit the ground. Back up and over your head. Bring it straight up. And then hands down and slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, up, over your head, straight up, and slowly, 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 slowly. Knees push up with a fly. If you guys are pro push-ups from your toes, you can do this exercise on your toes. You could do your push-up, and then fly over like this to the toes, push up, fly, push up, fly, push up, fly. 20 seconds, guys. Push up. Fly, push up, fly, three, two, one. Oh, are we gonna hear activity complete in five seconds or am I gonna have to figure out what we missed? <laughs> activity completed. Yes, we got through the whole thing without missing anything. Wow. That was a very full body workout. We hit everything. Um, I really like this, the Five Bits of Awesome design. It kicks my butt, but at the same time, it mixes it up throughout and makes doing something repetitive a little bit, feel a little bit less repetitive because you're mixing it up with other things. So let me know if you guys like this format or if you hate this format and I won't do it anymore. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.